God, I'm tired. We just got back from Chicago. Amber had to crash. Um, it's always stressful flying, going through airports and all that. Wow. That's all I can say. Wow. Very fun. Oh, if you get a chance to go to the Chicago Pipe Show, go to the Chicago Pipe Show. Amazing. Got so much stuff. Some I bought, some were given to me. I'm going to start off with a new dealer of Meershams. Um, I brought the card with me because, like I said, I just got home and I just came here. I'll do more information, put it in the bucket for you. When I go to Meersham Depot, uh, I'll put the uh, address in there. Okay, he was the guy that presented all these. And um, compare them to any other Meershams anywhere. Dynamite work. Dynamite work. I'm going to show you one right now. This is a Viking. I never get my hand right. I'm sorry, guys. And back it up where you see it better. There you go. I'd say this is about a seven, seven inch pipe, maybe eight inch pipe. Now here's my the best thing about this guy's pipes. Do you see the draw hole? Look at that at the bottom of the mirror. It doesn't even come into the lower part of the wall of the chamber. Okay, it comes in at the bottom. You will not have wasted tobacco in here. It's gonna burn great. And the tenon. Let me show you something. These are all black Mearsham. He's Turkish. He comes from Turkey. That's where he gets all his stuff. And I said his prices are about 50 bucks cheaper than Yannick's and uh, several others. Not to badmouth Yannick or anything. He does quality work. He kind of screwed the pipe community over one time, but that's the whole other story. Um, I don't know if you can see the tenon, the draw hole. This is a little wider than most Meersham with the plastic tin inserts and I like that because they're usually so damn small you can barely get your uh, pipe cleaner through it and it affects the draw you know so this is much more of an open draw they're in there really good it's the push tenon it's no big thing getting it back in it sinks up real snug I forgot to ask him what kind of a stem it is, whether it's acrylic or vulcanite. I'm not quite sure. Probably vulcanite is my guess. Um, beautiful pipe. Amber got one. I couldn't resist. And I'm going to smoke this right now. So if you get a chance to remember, Meersham Depot. Hallelujah! 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 Okay. At the pipe, if you've never gone to one of these pipe shows, it's amazing. Yeah, you can buy all kinds of tins, there's all kinds of stuff there, you can get all kinds of barrel. But just walking around to the vendors, they just give you samples. You see something you want to try, and they give you samples. Um, <sighs> LJ Peretti 100. Now this came, I didn't get it from him so much as uh, the North, Northern Bohemian. John went around. And John, this the guy Charlie, who blends this, John is like, this is the greatest blender in America. Nobody's better. I sure hope I got that name right, Charlie. I hope I'm not wrong. It's going to be the uh, maiden voyage of my Viking. Ha <laughs> ha. I like that Viking maiden voyage, right? My Viking Meersham. Did I say Meersham Depot? All right, if you want a Meersham, no, you go there or not. If you want a Missouri Meersham, Everybody knows you go to Aristocob.com. Don't forget that, right? Scott, I'm still waiting for my check. Um, but if you want Meerschaum, sea foam, the German word for sea foam, look up with this kid, okay? He's pretty new to it. He doesn't do the carving himself. I guess his brothers do. Maybe a couple other people, but, oh, man. He has so many really good pipes, and a lot of us got to see them. So if you don't take just my word for it, ask uh, Tade, ask Mike Miller, ask Northern Bohemian, ask Amber. You can ask a lot of people, and they will tell you this guy does good work. Here we go. tasty. I'm surprised because like I said I'm not a fan of burley. But here I am smoking some burley. No 
twin bite yet. Just that nutty flavor. And everybody talks about the burley has that nutty flavor, and that's kind of what I'm getting. Okay, just finish the bowl. You started out great. Real tasty, didn't have any floral thing. Also, at the end of the bowl, or at the end of it, this Peretti 100, you start picking up a floral, almost a Lakeland thing coming through, which I could do without. The, the first part of it, the Burley, was great, but there's a casing in there that takes and, I don't know, wipes it out. It didn't burn my tongue or anything. It was not the, don't worry about the uh, tongue bite or anything like that, a harshness. But if you're not a fan of Lakeland or the floral casing that comes with stuff sometimes, I wouldn't recommend it. But, boy, I tell you, it started great. The first three quarters of the bowl was great. The last quarter of it, not so much. But the pipe, wow, what a draw, what a draw. I guess that's it. Sorry about the volume level. I know it was very, very soft, but Amber's asleep, and so was a lot of them, so you know how that goes. Don't forget, keep on puffing, and use your damn turn signal. Mm -hmm.